Hello, everyone. Did you know that with the latest update, Dante's Unbound, radial damage of melee weapons is now affected by mods. Previously, they were only affected by slam damage mods. Additionally, there's now a 50% falloff on light slam attacks, and a 70% falloff on heavy slam attacks. But it doesn't matter much since we are already dealing an absurd amount of damage. The Archititron is the best slam hammer, and capacitor charges on it give us more damage and a slam radius reaching up to 19 meters with 10 charges. To acquire those charges, you need to kill using normal attacks, and we are utilizing the melee influence arcane to quickly stack those 10 kills in a few hits. We are utilizing the crushing ruin stance. We will employ the forward block combo to gain combo and execute two 360 degree spin attacks. However, we need to stop before it slams to prevent removing our charges. Or we can use forward melee attacks as that combo does not involve any slam attacks. This build can reach billions of damage, even reaching the negative 2.1 billion damage cap, without any Riven mods or Warframe abilities. Since this is a pretty slow hammer, we are using Arcane Strike in our build. We will be employing the Nautilus Sentinel to group enemies to squash them faster. We can also one-shot most enemies that can be one-shot, like this Acolyte right here. We're even able to one-shot disruption targets, despite their significant armor and damage reduction. When paired with Armor Strip, it can effortlessly one-shot level cap enemies with ease. Here is my Anero's build, enhanced with two Nera mods for increased slam damage. We will be using Nariman Focus School along with Dexterity Arcanes for slower combo counter decay. This is my Arca Titron setup, optimized for maximum heavy attack efficiency with these two mods, while also acquiring electric damage from melee influence. Finally, here is my Nautilus setup for grouping enemies efficiently. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video.